Hello everyone. Today we continue with computer system architecture course. In the last three videos we discussed register transfer language, register transfer, bus and memory transfers, arithmetic micro operations, logic micro operations, and shift micro operations. Today we move to arithmetic logic shift unit. Arithmetic and logic unit, ALU, is part of the CPU, central processing unit. Instead of having individual registers performing the macro operations directly, computer systems employ a number of storage registers connected to a common operational unit called an arithmetic logic unit, ALU. To perform a macro operation, the contents of specified registers are placed in the inputs of the common ALU. The ALU performs an operation and the result of the operation is then transferred to a destination register. So instead of performing the operations directly on registers, register contents are transferred, for example, through a bus to the ALU. In the ALU, the operation is performed and the result is transferred back to the destination register. The ALU is a combinational circuit so that the entire register transfer operation from the source registers through the ALU and into the destination register can be performed during one clock pulse period. The shift micro operations are often performed in a separate unit, but sometimes the shift units made part of the ALU. In the previous videos, I explained the arithmetic circuit that works according to the following function table. A quick revision of this circuit, we have four full adders. To each full adder, the bits from the operand A are applied and to the second input of the full adder either bi or not bi or constant zero or constant one we have two select signals s1 is zero and a carry n on zero zero select bi is applied to the max if carry n is zero then we have add operation and if carry n is one we have add with carry on zero one select we are not bi is applied so if carry n is zero then the outputs are subtract with borrow and if carry n is one then we have subtract since we are adding a to the two's complement of B. Next, on one zero select, here we have logic zero is transferred. Here we have all zeros. So if carry n is zero, we have just the transfer. A added with all zeros. And if carry n is one, we have increment operation. And on one one select this input of the max is transferred to the output, so we'll have here all ones. Adding all ones to A means decrement A, since all ones are the two's complement of one. And if carry n is one then we have just a transfer because the result of adding one to all ones is zero. So this is equivalent to A minus one plus one, which is just transfer operation. Also in the previous videos, I explained the hardware implementation of logic functions. We have here one stage of logic circuit used to implement 
for logic operations and or exclusive or and not according to the given function table. On zero zero select, we have AI and it would be I. On zero one select, we have the or operation. On one zero, exclusive or and on one one, complement A. Again, this is one stage of logic circuit and it should be repeated n times where n is the size of the register. Now using these two circuits, one stage of arithmetic circuit and one stage of logic circuit, we can design a one stage of an arithmetic logic shift unit. Inputs AI and BI are applied to both the arithmetic and logic units. Here. A particular operation is selected with the select lines S0, S1. A 4 by 1 max at the output chooses between an arithmetic output DI and a logic output EI. The data in the max are selected using inputs S2 and S3. On 0, 0, DI is transferred to the output. On 0, 1, EI. On 1, 0, AI minus 1. And on 1, 1, AI plus 1. AI minus 1 is applied to the input of the max to implement the shift right micro operation and AI plus 1 to implement the shift left micro operation. This circuit provides eight arithmetic micro operations, four logic micro operations, and two shift micro operations. Each operation is selected with the variables S3, S2, S1, S0, and the carry n. Carry n is used for selecting arithmetic operation only. And this circuit must be repeated n times for an n bit arithmetic logic unit. Here we have only one stage of the circuit. The output carry CI minus one of a given stage must be connected to the input carry CI of the next stage. The input carry of the first stage is the input carry CN, which provides a selection variable for arithmetic operations. This one stage of an arithmetic logic shift unit works according to the following function table. These are the eight arithmetic micro operations, and these are the four logic macro operations and the last two operations are shift left and shift right macro operations on s2 s3 0 0 di is selected and transferred to the output of the max on s2 s3 0 1 ei is transferred to the output on one zero, we have shift right, and on one one, shift left macro operation. Now, regarding the first eight arithmetic operations, we already explained them. On S0 is one zero zero, we have a transfer or increment depending on the carry n, and on zero one, addition or addition with carry on one zero, subtract with borrow or subtract. And on one one, if CN is zero, then we have decrement. And if carry N is one, we have a transfer. And regarding the logic micro operations, on S0, S1, zero, zero, we have and, zero, one, or, 
one zero XOR and one one complement. If it's two and this one are one zero, then we'll have a shift right macro operation regardless of the other select lines. And on one one, we have a shift left macro operation again regardless of these selection lines. Again, on S2, S3, 0, 0, DI is selected and transferred to the output. DI is the output of the arithmetic circuit. It is equals to A if these bits are 0 and the carry in 0. Or increment if the carry in is 1. Here we have it. Zero one here. If carry n is zero, then we'll have here a added with b, and if carry n is one, a added with b with one, which is add with carry. On one zero here, we'll have either subtract with borrow or subtract. On one one decrement or transfer on s3 is 201 the max transfers the ai to the output and ai comes from the logic circuit it is equals to a and b on s1 is 0 0 0 or a or b on 0 1 a exclusive or B on one zero and complement of A on one one. You can note from the circuit and from the function table that carry N is used to select arithmetic macro operation and has nothing to do with logic or shift macro operations. If we have N bit register, this stage should be repeated n times. The select lines come from the control unit, bits A, I, B, I, from the registers where they are stored, A, I minus one, I plus one as well, and the result is transferred to the destination register. In this chapter, we have one remaining item, hardware description languages for today, that's all. Thank you.